What an overtake! Gone from something to first! Well, let's continue on our road trip. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going today, but uh, I think we're gonna have the option. Yeah. Let's go back to... I want to go down Castellano, do some do some nice driving along the coast. Should we use some retro hot hatches? I think so. We haven't used any of these yet. All right, let's see what our options are for cars. So what do we got? We got some pretty decent stuff in here. We got some pretty decent stuff in here. That thing's freaking beast. I think, though, for this, you can never go wrong with a good Volkswagen. So let's go with, let's go with a Corrado VR6. This is supposed to be fun. Take it easy. Take it easy. Go ahead. Did you hear that? Take it, take it, take it easy. Are we DJing up in here now or something? Oh, it sounds so good. My little VR6. This is actually the same engine I have in my actual car. So it actually sounds quite similar. Oh, this is good. I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay. I... Have arrived at Castelletto. Let's see what we're doing. Hopefully some point-to-point -point races. Those are usually the best. All right, so apparently not gonna have... Oh, wait, is... That's a track. Point-to-point. -point. Eh, and another track. All right, let's start up here. Let's go. Oh, there's a whole bunch of old Volkswagens. Oh, this is my type of race this is. Oh, wow, I haven't taken pictures of any... Everybody, stop. Cheeky. Wow! <laughs> Any more back here I can get? Yes! <laughs> that was awesome! So, I don't know if you can actually tell by the recording of this video. I may or may not have accidentally blown up my microphone. So, if you saw the barrel roll video I did, uh, the barrel roll challenge video saying, Hey, go and do some barrel rolls and stuff like that. I think I may have blown up my microphone. Uh, if you yell, apparently, into microphones too loud, you can break something in them. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I may have broken my microphone. So hopefully this doesn't sound too crap, but, uh, yay, effort, and I have to go buy a new one. Oh, well. I can up the quality again. Yay, I can go get a even better microphone now. Jeez, this little Corrado, off-road, killing it. I, I, other than the incest, obviously. It's so good, it's so grippy and everything. This is, this is what I call a car. Oh, passing him on the grass. Oh no, oh, it's a wall. Oh no, oh, oh boy. Uh, that was, um, mm-hmm. This is so cool, seeing these three Volkswagens all in red, all together. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. The Volkswagen Brothers. Stop. That's really cool. Yeah, so I think I may have blown up my microphone. I thought I actually, a fun story. I don't know if you guys are new around here, you may not know this. But during F1, I filmed some crazy, crazy loud Mustang that I thought blew up my uh, camera's microphone. Very nearly did. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. One of probably the loudest car I've ever seen, and it was absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, I thought it broke my microphone. Nearly did though. So I'll, I'll include a link in the description if you want to uh, go check that out. Loudest Mustang in the world. Probably not, but I'm gonna call it that. Oh, I'm getting so lucky with these wheel spins. Let's go, little Corrado VR6. So awesome, this car. Oh, this game looks so nice. Look at that. Oh, it's really good. I'm really enjoying this game. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do some more live streams. So I ha I have actually penciled one in for uh, Friday. So I've, I've, I've scheduled one for Friday afternoon, 3 e Eastern time, around then. I'll, I'll put a video up when I'm actually doing the live stream after I've basically finaled everything. Af after I've finalized everything and sort of penned it in, you know, not pencil, I can't erase it. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go online and play with some of you guys and do some stuff like that. I think that should be fun. So if there's anything you want to see me do in a live stream, let me know. Because usually in live streams, I just sort of screw around with some friends and that's basically what I do. 
But I don't know, I could go- I, I really want to play with you guys in this. Maybe an online road trip with some of you guys and like the AR-12 crew? That'd be a good idea. I don't know, we'll- we'll- we'll figure something out. Oh, another thing that, uh, I got some comments about is, where are the top tier challenges? Uh, ah, a little issue. So you may- so, okay. How we record top tier challenges is basically we record them on the weekend. Now, this weekend it was sort of busy for everyone, so we were like, uh, okay, we'll do it Monday. Because Monday was uh, Thanksgiving in Canada, so we, we gave our thanks um, to someone. And then we went on, right, on Monday to record our top tier challenge. All, all of us online, all everyone's on time for the first time ever. Even Marco got there at 201. But um, yeah, we were all there. Go on Xbox, start up the game. Xbox Live's down. Yeah! There's no top tier challenge this week. I do have some mini challenges though. If you saw the challenge, the cheap budget car, drag car challenge with uh, Custom Map Cinema Tom and uh, Theo, Black Panther, go check that out because that was actually a really good one. We basically took three stock cars for less than 100 grand, drag raced them, then spent 50 grand worth of upgrades on them, drag raced them, and then we put every upgrade possible onto them and drag raced them, and then we came to a verdict of who, of who did the best. Speaking of top gear challenges, actually, we actually, or well, I, when I say we, I mean I, I have planned out so far the first 10 Top Gear challenges in Forza Horizon 2. And oh boy, there are some very, very good ones. We're going to start it off with a standard one, and then the week after that is going to be a very, very good one. So you guys have been requesting some more school stories. Now today I don't actually have a school story for you, but as you can probably tell by the title, it's a pretty interesting school uh, uh, story, not a school story. So yeah, you know the normal tickets like talking on the phone, texting, I don't know, driving without a seatbelt, speeding, going through a stop sign. Any of those, pretty normal ticket. But you know me, I'm sort of dumb. And uh, I, did, I did something stupid. So as the story goes, I was leaving. Okay, this, this story actually requires a little, a little bit of backstory. So the way tickets work here is, or the way licenses work here is you have a certain number of points. So for your first two, for your first two years of driving, you get basically four points uh, to get on your license. And each, like a standard ticket, like a speeding ticket, is like three points, and going through a stop sign is like three points. So basically, two tickets and you're out, essentially, is what it is, unless you do something really dumb or really fun, I should say. Uh, otherwise, you, you can basically get two tickets. So, here's the story. I was at my friend's house, and I was leaving. Now, my car was facing down the hill, and my car was facing down the hill. I didn't want to go down the hill. I wanted to go up the hill. So here's what I decided to do. So there's a cop all the way on the other side of the street. And I don't realize this. And I decided to turn around in a fashion that was not brilliant, but quite funny. So I decided to um, mm, uh, gas a hefty amount. Made the wheels spin a bit, which is actually breaking the law. Didn't know that, but it is. Uh, so, apparently... Okay, so here's what happened. Give it a little bit of gas, spun the wheels a bit, pulled a sweet 180, held it brilliantly, and, uh, yep, cop was there and he saw the whole thing and balls. And then, I, th I think the cop appreciated my sweet driving skills, because usually... Usually he'd try to screw you and give you a ticket for basically whatever he can to give you points. This cop, however, was a cool guy, and he was like, Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm only going to give you a ticket for basically spinning your wheels when he could have given me quite a bit more. Yeah, not your normal first ticket for most drivers, I would think. But yeah, most people is like, oh, I was talking on the cell phone, cop was there, saw me, busted me. Now, oh, sweet 180, a little tire screeching, and that's illegal, apparently. But cool cop, cool cop. I was basically, I was basically like, yeah, the way I deal with cops is like, yeah, I know what I did. I'm sorry. I, I don't say I'm sorry, but I'm like, you know what I mean. I'm like, I'm nice. And I'll just be like, yeah, I know what I did. Give it. Thanks. Bye. And he was like, okay, here you go. And he gave me like $52 and that was it. No points, which is cool. So he, he's a cool guy. He wins my uh, cool cop of the year award. Actually, he's the only ticket I've got. So 
Yeah! Haven't been busted for anything else. So yeah, there's my first ticket experience. It's sort of different than your normal one, I should say. But um, yeah, there you go. Sweet, so I think we will start that up next part. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, uh, click that subscribe button down below for more types of videos like this in your subscription box. Also, go check out the Mustang video because that was sweet. Anyways, guys, thank you again very, very much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.